Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with your Wednesday word and quickly I want to give you a little challenge, a little something to try, kind of see if you can help you out in life. About eight years ago, I read a book, actually wasn't even a spiritual book, it's just a regular kind of business secular book. And it had this concept that said, learn to become a scientist of your own life. Learn to sit back and almost observe your own life in that your actions, your intentions, your plans, and then sit back and evaluate and break down things as though you are a scientist and kind of see what your results would be. And I think this has helped me so much for whatever reason that concept has stuck out with me. It's helped me with my job. It's helped me with my relationships. It's helped me spiritually. And I want to challenge you with, with the same thing today. Become a scientist of your own life. Look at your life spiritually and say, do I have a sense of peace when I go to bed at night? Do I wake up? with a sense of purpose and joy. If you do that, you're, you're probably in right standing with God that you've been spending time in his word and with prayer and uh, with, with fellowship with other believers and that kind of thing. Fasting, the things that make us grow spiritually. If you find that I feel like I don't have any kind of purpose or I'm constantly living with guilt or I'm constantly going in the same bad habits. Again, sit back and observe kind of what you've been doing with your life, how you schedule your day, how you go about things, and see kind of what changes you need to make. Uh, sometimes it's those, those, those small changes, maybe in our schedules or our attitudes or our, our, our disciplines, that can make a huge difference. And like I say all the time, you can't change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction. Never forget that. You can't change your destination. You know, you don't. You might be headed somewhere way off path, but you can absolutely, even during this video, pray and ask God to help you and strengthen you and change the direction of your life. So I wanted to challenge you with this quick word to learn to become a scientist of your own life and pray and ask God to give you direction and peace of where he wants you, not where you want yourself. Say, God, where do you want me? Because it's only in God's will. And in, in line with his purpose and his direction, are we going to find true joy and peace and happiness? That's what we're all looking for. We're looking for a purpose bigger than ourselves. We're looking for affection, for joy, for happiness, contentment, all these things. And guys, I can promise you, I'm, I'm 36 years old. I found it's only through Christ. These other things, like, like, the, like the song says, on, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. You know, turn your eyes toward Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will, go, will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Guys, I want to challenge you to, to, to observe your life and see what do you need to change. Is it your morning routine? Is it what you do before bed? Is it your habits online with the internet? Is it the circle you're hanging around? Whatever it is, make those changes that can bring you with a closer relationship with God. And you're never going to regret it. Again, it's easy to talk about. It's a lot more challenging to do. I want to challenge myself and challenge you to be a scientist of our own life. We can make changes and live that life that God has called us to live. Please subscribe if you haven't. Check out AcousticSelection.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day. And God bless you.